What is going on mortals? Mortal T here and welcome back to another episode of How to Tame. Oh yes, today we are going to be checking out that dinosaur up there. That is right, the Allosaurus. We are going to go through on how to tame the Allosaurus. Now, you will need to knock it out in order to tame this. So that is the first thing you're going to want to do. Knock it out! Now this can be difficult to knock it out because these do usually hunt in packs of three and they do have the alpha mechanic in play as well. <clears throat> but once you have got rid of the other two and you... Uh, is someone attacking? Yeah, but once you have got rid of the other two and you've got the one that you want to tame, knock it out. <clears throat> now, its preferred food and kibble are different. You can tame this in different ways because it is a meat eater. It enjoys its meat. Its preferred food is raw mutton. So, you can use raw mutton or you can use prime meat or even normal raw meat but its preferred kibble is diplo kibble that is right the diplo kibbles it is its favorites and i have got some right here i got 10 of them uh, okay didn't need that many but tamed boom and we have tamed an allosaurus come over here Right next to our Achachadina. Achadina. So, how to make the kibble? Well, first, obviously, you need Diplo eggs. You will need Diplo eggs to make the Diplo kibble. So, you need one Diplo egg, one Savile root, one rare flower, two medjool berries, and three fibers. And this can either be cooked in a cooking pot or the industrial cooker. But like I have already mentioned, these usually hunt in packs of freeze and they do get the alpha buff. So you can tame more than one of them and you will be able to get the alpha buff. And if they are uh, mate boosted, that means male and female mate boosted, they will get an extra buff as well. Dun, dun, dun. And you can ride these. You can unlock a saddle from, but you don't unlock the the Allosaurus saddle until you are level 67. But these are uh, bigger than a Carno, but smaller than a T-Rex. And I think they're slightly smaller than the Eutyrannus as well. But these are really good looking dino. I really, actually really do love the design of these. Really, really cool. It's got like hard scales everywhere. And especially on its back. That looks really cool because it's got like a hard shell or something. Scale, harder scales than usual around its like tender areas. And it looks absolutely amazing. Let's look at it. And these are pretty fast. The... Yeah, they're just pretty fast. I think they're better. I think they're better than a Carno. So I'd actually go for one of these instead of a Carno. But if you've got enough to tame a T-Rex, go ahead and get the T-Rex. Everyone loves a good old... Well, not old, but everyone loves a good T-Rex. So yeah, that is how to tame an allosaurus oh another thing i want to cover before we go you can breed these so you can get like baby allosauruses um they do poop out eggs from somewhere no one ever knows so yeah really really cool oh you can immobilize these so if they're running at you you can like immobilize them, but with certain things, the normal bowlers will not work. You will need a chain bowler 
to stop these aloes in their tracks and a large bear trap will also immobilize these as well so if if you want to if you're not on a flyer or someone's not carrying you or you can't get to a high place where these cannot attack you make sure you're on like a quetzal with a platform saddle that's got a chain bowler or you're just carrying around some large bear traps when it's running after you can put one down and it and you can chase it well it can chase you into it and it will um trap it and then you can knock it out whichever m means necessary you have to knock it out that ref be well you could try a club but unless you got like huge amounts of melee damage that is not going to work i think the best thing for here is either a trank arrow shot out of a crossbow or a long neck rifle with either trank darts or the darts i prefer which are these shocking darts well that's what i call them shocking tranquilizer darts i think they work a hell of a lot better than the normal darts so that is what i use and if you're going for a high level one always make sure you have a decent long neck with some decent uh, weapon damage if you want to knock it down as fast as possible so yeah that is how to tame an allosaurus whether it be on your own or with someone else it's like deciding whether to look away or not it's like nope i'm gonna look away but nope <laughs> so yeah i hope you found that very informative hopefully i covered everything it's favorite food it's favorite kibble how to knock it out how to uh tame it obviously how to like immobilize it uh make it stand still so it can't chase you anymore. I told you how to make the kibble as well. So I hope you enjoyed the second episode of How to Tame. Like I said, this is a new series that I will be covering all the dinos in Ark. All the dinos. That is right. I am covering every single dino that is in Ark. How to tame it. The best way to knock it out or tame it or its favorite uh, food its favorite kibble and so on and so forth so more episodes will be coming up so keep an eye out for the 10 video that's going to suit you but anyway mortals that is it and it's just started raining so that is the best time to end the video so if you like the video don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face and if you're new to the channel don't forget to click that subscribe button and as always, mortals, don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world. But that's it. I am Mortal T and I am out.